Hey y'all, today we're going to do a rebuild of a BG or Daiwa BG30. Where'd it go? Right there. And it's a little different because I'm not breaking it down and putting it back together. I'm just going to put it together because I already cleaned it and kind of had a lot of work to do. So, anyhow, clean the bearings already and I'm just going to oil them now, let them sit for a little while while I do the rotor. soaking for a little bit then I'll re-oil them, re them in a second so we're definitely going to oil again because we got to let the oil go through the the shields. That's sounding pretty good. All right. So let's do the rotor. Uh, let's do the this side first, which is the uh, the trip lever side. bottom portion first and add a little bit of grease right here that is too much it's a spring that sits in here so we want it to kind of flow freely but still have some protection on it all right so the way this uh, <coughs> the spring sits there's a end that's pointing straight up and I'm gonna see if I can show that to you Maybe that's better. Maybe not. And then there's this point that's straight across, right there. That point that's straight across is going to sit inside that groove right there, with that one um, that end pointed up in this direction. Now we're going to do is take this. and put it on like this. this. If I can get it right, I'll get it. That looks better. And make sure that end that's sticking up goes through the hole. You can always double check it when you do it. I'm going to raise that up over that ridge right there and see if we can get that sitting in place. I think we got it. Let's check. Yeah, we got it. Okay, good. So now we'll do a little grease around here. Nothing much. And the way this is going to sit is that depression or that depressed area will be facing down like so. And sitting right over like that. I'm going to agree, um, add the screw to this section here. I'm just going to double check it. That looks good. Then let's take the cover on and screw it in. Not too tight. Now we can do the line roller. Add some grease here. Stick the bushing on. And I'm gonna add a little grease to the bushing as well. That's good. And where's our line roller? Stick that on like that. And we can get our bail arm. I'm gonna 
add some grease on the inside of that hole as well because the uh, salt just kind of collects in there and locks that screw in place. On this screw there's a washer I just didn't take off. It's sitting right there. Hopefully you can see that. Sticker line roller washer on there and balance this to screw it in place. And I don't tighten this the entire way yet because I need to be playing around with it. So now we can do the spring section of this. I'm going to the grease where that end of the spring is going to go. And add some grease up here as well. Adding grease to these holes so the screws don't get stuck inside there. That looks good. Alright, so this. Uh, the spring has what it looks to be even, but it's, I don't think it is. So what I see is the shorter side, which would be this side, goes down, and this side, that's the longer side, goes up to the, uh, to the, uh, to the bail arm, or to the bail wire. No, I'm sorry, the bail. Add some grease to the tip of this, and then just stick that in like so into that hole right there rotate it around and just kind of angle it up and get it over like that now you can screw that in and lock it in place Let's go ahead and grease this spring up a little bit. And that should be good. Then we just add our cover. Alright, so now we can add this part. Let me add some grease to this, I'm sure I'm so oil to this. Get this to flex properly. Now we can turn that and stick that in place. screw that in. Add a little more grease to this hole right here. Now we can screw all those things in. That's it for the uh, for the bale. I have some grease here. I'm sorry, some oil here, just as an added measure. And let's jump on to the main part of this. All right, so the first thing I think I'm gonna do is add grease to where these bearings are gonna sit. There, here, 
and on this side cover as well. I'm also going to add grease here. And in here. Add a little more grease in this channel right there. That looks good. So let's do the top portion of this. We're going to do the pinion gear add the bearing on top and then just get that set in place. Oh, with the bearing like that. Then we can put the cover on. The cover only goes in one direction, so or sits in one place. So as long as you find it, you're good. I want to tighten these down, but not, you know, not over tight. Now we can stick this eccentric in there. Where's our spring? Spring goes up through the bottom. And then just drop that into the hole. When you get to about there, you kind of want to angle this spring over to the hole. It's just easier to put it in that way. And let's get it to sit in sit inside there. We want to get this notch right there over that post. Like that. And we'll probably lose it again. Yeah, we did. Then just rotate this over. Just be careful with this. When you rotate it past that post, just push it down and hold on gently to it so it doesn't spring up on you. Then you can put the lever on. This lever came with a washer. So we're going to put it back in. Where are we at? And then just screw that in. That's set. Now I'm going to put the dog on. I'm rubbing some residual grease on there. Don't need a whole lot, but not on the point. And I'm going to add a little bit to that groove right there as well. Open that up. Oh, before I do that, let's go ahead and put this block on. And I'll put this on also. Could grease this up a little bit. This is the uh, actuator for the uh, for the bale. Don't really need to put this on yet, but I'm jumping around here, so I'll just do that. That's good. Now we're going to do this block. Now let's sit down like that. This is key, so just find the groove. And now we can put this on, and then we'll put our uh, we'll put.
put our spring on that engages and disengages the uh, the anti reverse. Let's get our ratchet on there. Again, some grease on the top of it, but none on the none on the uh, the notches themselves. And this goes on. This is square on the inside and square up there. So we're going to fit that on to this, like so. And now we can grease this up. And make sure you get some grease on the inside there in that little. Uh, channel so you can have so, a little bit of friction that helps this uh, spring work. That should be good. The way it's going to sit is with the groove side on top and that facing that direction like so. Just drop that in, make sure it fits through through the uh, channel right there and now you know you're good now we can stick this uh, rotor on top and then we can work on the inside here Add a little bit of grease this has a bevel side, I think. Yeah, it does. And a flat side. Just make sure the flat side is facing down. And you want to put on the, that on there pretty snug, but not over tighten it. That feels good. I'm going to open this up like that. And now we can get to the main gear. And the rest of the uh, the rest of the reel. Okay, so let's go ahead and grease all these other parts up, and then we'll start working on the uh, the housing. So grease this shaft while I'm here. I like to make sure I grease inside here where the block meets the uh, the spool shaft. Now we can stick the main gear in. Excuse me. Let's take the block in first. Keep forget how the block sits. Block sits just like so. Put it all the way to the bottom. Then stick your main gear inside. And then you can stick the shaft through. Just find that hole and then screw it in place. All right, so now we can grease up here and then put this extension on. I like to grease around here pretty good. It's a little overkill, I know, but on these older reels, doesn't really hurt. Now let's stick this on. I like to stick it on here first and then just kind of work the gear to it like that. Now we can stick our shim on. The bearing. Now we can put the side cover on. And 
screw it in. Let's add some grease to these holes where the uh, screws will sit. Get in there. Close that up. And now we can just screw this thing in and be done with it. Uh, this reel doesn't have, didn't come in with a, a spool, so all I'm showing you is essentially the rest of it. Okay, so let's put the handle on and make sure that what we have works. Sounds good. Check the anti reverse. That works. And the bail works. Alright, guys, that's how you put together this portion of Daiwa BG30. Uh, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to make comments, subscribe, tell your friends, and spread the word. And there was one other thing I forgot what it was. Oh, hit the like button, please. For some reason, that adds to the uh, the popularity of the reel or the uh, video and it helps raise the uh, profile of the video anyhow thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time